Hello everyone. Thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at the buck converter with analysis tools demo model. This Plex demo model shows how to perform a steady state analysis and use small signal analyses to obtain different open loop transfer functions for a simple unregulated buck converter with a constant switching frequency of 100 kHz. A fixed duty cycle determines the output voltage set point which can be quickly verified through a transient simulation. As can be seen in the schematic, there are library blocks available to inject and measure small signal stimuli signals. In this example, we can add a perturbation at the input of the PWM block to determine the control to output transfer function of the converter. Further, it's possible to add a small signal disturbance to the load current to determine the output impedance of the converter. Both of these analyses then measure the response across the load by monitoring this voltage measurement for the change in the stimulus as compared to the injected signal. While the interface and access to the analysis tools is slightly different in Plex block set, in Plex standalone, you select the option from the simulation menu. In this model, Several analyses are already set up. You can determine the steady state operating point of the converter very quickly with the first option. For small signal analyses, Plex offers three techniques. An AC sweep where sinusoids of various frequencies are injected. An impulse response where a Dirac delta impulse function is injected. And a multi-tone analysis where a single signal comprised of many sinusoids added together is injected. More information on these algorithms and how to configure them can be found in the Plex user manual and tutorials on the Plexim website. As can be seen, when we run one of these analyses, a body plot with gain and phase information is generated, showing the frequency response of the system to the disturbance. In addition to verifying key indicators, such as magnitude, slope, crossover frequency, and gain and phase margins graphically, you can also export the frequency domain data for further post-processing and controller design. Once you have designed and integrated a closed-loop regulator, you can also use these tools to verify system stability. This concludes the video on the buck converter with analysis tools demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.